I come from a little town called Columpton, which is 15 miles from here, and FX is small, Columpton is really small. Um, the last bus home was 10 in the, 10 in the evening. There's nothing you could do, so we just found places where we could do our own stuff with our mates who like you know, our own stuff. Um, we just kind of create a thing around what we liked. Why did we bother kind of fitting into someone else's box when we could just do it ourselves? Um, there's no validation in pleasing someone else. It's all about pleasing yourself. So we went out there, we made it happen. And then you find like-minded people uh, in other towns who are also doing it themselves. And we're really lucky in Exeter to have a cabin, which is built on that principle of doing it yourself. So if you turn up wanting to do it yourself, showing that you've done it yourself, put on your own gig, put on your own band, put on your mate's bands, uh, suddenly you've got something going for you, if I do. The truth is, promoters notice people who are interested in what they're doing. So um, you can bombard someone with emails, email, 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 <coughs> Honestly, it just bounces off. If you go to someone's show, if you show that you're interested, uh, you come to punk rock shows or metal shows or reggae shows or whatever you're doing and be part of that thing, that's really important. You learn about the stuff that's good that's coming to where you're from, but also you learn that people do. You meet the people doing stuff. You do it together, like John said. I mean, John knows about, more about punk rock than I do. But you're there in the kind of midst of it rather than being... Um, either someone who buys into it or someone who expects to be bought into, you're a participant in it, and I think there's loads to be said there.